Thanks everybody, it's really lovely to be here today and I've been invited to talk um, about work underway in Leeds around the best start in Leeds um, at, for Conception 22 and also inequalities. So I suppose the first thing I'd like to say is um, really welcome the donation. I think the case has been made really well for why we need to invest to this crucial period. So that's um, great for Leeds and um, children in Leeds. Um, I really admire the partnerships um, University of Leeds has brought together. It's incredible, um, really, really wonderful. Um, I respect the academic brilliance um, of colleagues that have shared uh, their lead areas today. Um, I'm really interested to learn um, what this pilot uh, finds out and what we can um, implement in Leeds. And um, I welcome the opportunity um, to showcase um, the existing work in Leeds and make links um, with the work public health delivers around this agenda. <coughs> so, the first thing I wanted to say is that Leeds is an unequal city. Um, this map um, that you can see, the darker the area, um, the more deprived communities are. Um, so the purple uh, represents the um, 10th of Leeds. Um, the, the, it's the IMD ones, the index of multiple deprivation, um, the most deprived 10% um, in the country. Um, and so um, in Leeds, a large proportion um, of our population live in the 10% most deprived population in England. And this increases the younger you are. So 24.3% um, of the whole population live in the 10% most deprived. That rises to 31.9% for under 18s and 33.9% for under twos. And um, so it, it kind of makes the case really um, for um, it, for support for families living in these areas where they face um, greater challenges to remain healthy. And the uh, model on the uh, left is the um, Darwin and Whitehead classic uh, model for um, anyone working in public health that illustrates the factors um, that influence your health. And um, you can see you can see from looking at the model, and you can imagine the less resources you have, um, the um, harder it is to um, keep healthy or remain healthy. Um, <clears throat> just to say, these are ONS data. Um, it, the numbers are even higher if you look at GP registered population data. This, um, this um, infographic is a snapshot of child health in Leeds. Um, the benefit of having a good start in life um, is that it impacts on life expectancy. And we've heard about some of that data from Anne Longfield in her opening speech. Um, but it also impacts on outcomes way before that. The economist um, James Heckman evidenced that the highest rate of economic return comes in the earliest investments with children starting from conception. And Leeds City Council Public Health Leadership Team recognise this and we prioritise funding public health work with children. Our 0 to 19 Public Health Integrated Nursing Service that covers health visitors and school nurses has never been cut. And that's something we hope to um, maintain. Um, this infographic um, illustrates the difference between outcomes for children living in the most 10% um, deprived areas, so a third of children, um, and their um, outcomes compared to the Leeds average. And you can see for every single indicator, um, the outcomes are worse for children who living in the more deprived areas, apart from walking to school. They walk to school, um, everyone else drives and creates air pollution, which they breathe. Um, so, so it's really, really important. Um, it's really important to take um, a preventative approach. So some people call that upstream. So they put the, this um, cartoon, which is from Juliet Young, uh, used with permission, um, stolen with pride. Um, it has kind of illustrated, so when we try and kind of explain uh, what public health is, we say, because back in the day, everyone thought, you know, medics, you know, casualty ambulances was all like really exciting. Uh, we, rather than being heroes, pulling people out of the stream, walk upstream and see what's going on um, and try and stop try and stop it. So this, this example um, re relates to mental health, but it could relate to anything. We need to look at what are the upstream factors and um, it's a Desmond Tutu quote, we need to stop just pulling people out of the river, we need to go upstream and find out why they're falling in. And more recently, NHS colleagues has called this left shift. So you shift your investment rather than, uh, I mean, a really good example of work that's happening now is um, asthma. Rather than um, children coming into um, A&E with asthma attacks, um, what could you do to kind of prevent that, that happening? Um, so it left shift is moving resources 
from um, <clears throat> treating acute or chronic conditions to moving that uh, financial resource um, it, upstream to kind of invest in things that will prevent ill health. And that's what we need to do. A few colleagues have talked about this before. Um, we have lived through some very, very um, strange times with um, COVID pandemic lockdown. And this slide um, is from uh, our colleague, public health colleague, Sally Hall, um, <clears throat> when she was presenting at Baby Week last year um, about the impact of um, lockdown on babies. And this image is um, a mum and her baby meeting the baby's grandparents and having the first family photo taken on live TV. Because that's how mad things have been in lockdown. It's just so strange, isn't it, what we've lived through. Um, but for babies born under pandemic restrictions, there is a lack of wider family contact and support, lower levels of stimulation through baby groups, times outdoors, social settings, um, <clears throat> changes to support from health services, less opportunities for peer support and increased maternal mental health issues. So on top of um, poverty, um, deprivation and um, the impacts of um, pandemic lockdown and broader impacts of pandemic, there's quite a lot to do. So in Leeds, um, work to um, promote health and wellbeing in the first 1,001 days has been coordinated through a Best, uh, best Start plan. Um, this plan was launched in 2015. It's um, an evidence-based, broad, preventative programme of work um, delivered, um, developed and delivered by partners focusing on the first 1,001 days. I tried to calculate the difference in the one day, who's right and who's wrong, 1,000 days in one. It, it, preg the 40 weeks of pregnancy in two years doesn't add up. It adds up to something like 1,013. So whatever, sorry about that. <laughs> um, the, um, the plan takes a, a universal approach, but more targeted um, to um, families that need support uh, most to try and um, promote a good start for every baby with early identification and targeted support for families that are finding life harder. It's built on a robust and growing evidence base, highlighting the importance of the first 1,001 days that, that has been talked about before. Um, recently, um, an evaluation has been uh, undertaken by a registrar colleague that was with us. A policy review has been written um, by um, Nicholas Goldsborough, a colleague in the room. And the, um, the, our conclusion is, the outcomes here are still relevant eight years on. So in March, we're planning um, a refresh and a relaunch um, post lockdown uh, get together in a real life event. You will all be invited. You're very welcome to come along. Uh, and we're going to take a who's shoes methodology to look at um, how we need to uh, refine what is in the delivery plan. So to give them um, an example of how that plan is delivered, there are three kind of main categories really of, of what happens. There are mandated services. So they are services that are, we are currently legally obliged um, to deliver. Um, the the um, money comes from national government. It's um, distributed to local authority public health teams through the Office of Health Improvement and Disparities. The budget is ring-fenced and it's monitored <coughs> carefully. And um, we are mandated to deliver the Healthy Child Programme. So that's five contacts, antenatal newborns, six straight weeks, 12 months and a two and a half year review. And Leeds City Council Public Health Team commissioned Leeds Community Health um, to deliver the 0 to 19 service, which delivers that function. <clears throat> so the, they're the mandated, the other mandated service is the National Child Measurement Programme, uh, where um, children are weighed and measured in reception in year six. So there's mandated service, services, there's commissioned services, which includes the 0 to 19 service that I've mentioned, uh, but also we commission additional um, services. So breastfeed and peer support, infant mental health, colleagues in the room, um, Henry's is healthy eating nutrition for really young, evidence-based um, programme, antenatal education refugee, for refugees and asylum seekers, baby steps antenatal um, education targeting um, families uh, and parents who uh, are more likely to have bad outcomes for their children to uh, provide additional support. And um, <clears throat> we also have the um, Baby Buddy app. And then partnership work it is so important because we're talking about all children in the whole of Leeds. Um, you know, a few people aren't going to make a difference. So we work, uh, we work in partners. We in Leeds, we've got 56 or 57 children's centres uh, currently. Um, we have early start pathways that colleagues in children's centres and the 0 to 19 service follow if they um, see a need that a family has. There's work around healthy maternal uh, weight, uh, really close things with mid midwifery colleagues are, are key. Um, Leeds Community Health have um, worked um, across um, the system to develop 
a language and communication toolkit which runs from stay and play sessions in libraries right up to specialist um, support. We're working with the uh, Marmot team, the Institute of Health Equity from University College London. Uh, that one of their first priorities is to review what's happening to support not to five year olds in Leeds and they will be feeding back their findings in an event in January. We commissioned PEEP, which I don't think you can stand for anything, and they put the E's the wrong way around, which for me seems bizarre because it's a speech, language and communication programme, but I've not fed that back to them directly, but it's around um, how to um, develop um, skills with um, preschoolers using kind of nothing really, just using your mind and your creativity and um, singing and making pay toys out of rubbish. Um, <clears throat> libraries, Child Friendly Leaves, Baby Week, and we've got Sadia who leads that. Um, here today. Um, the Director of Public Health Annual Report this year focused on children, that's where that infographic of outcomes is from. We're trying to uptake, um, increase the uptake of the Healthy Start vouchers for families. We chair the Child Death Overview panel so we learn from all um, child deaths, of which many are um, neonatal sadly. Uh, we work with the localities team, we're doing work around fuel poverty. Um, colleague Sally Goodwin Mills is like the queen of um, breastfeeding promotion <clears throat> and it's one outcome that we do really well in and leads um, so the UNICEF baby friendly um, initiative accreditation which um, LCH is gold and children's centres have just been um, assessed so there's some of the things um, some of the things underway um, so challenges there are many um, I've mentioned um, the increasing needs following lockdown and increasing poverty uh, the cost of living crisis or the cost of greed crisis whichever way you want to frame it um, it is a challenge um, to recruit health visitors nationally. There are swinging cuts to local authority budgets. There is a risk of bankruptcy um, across the country. Leeds is doing everything we can um, to avoid it. Um, and we've got robust plans in place, but you'll have seen in the news, Birmingham's gone, Nottingham has gone, Woking, Croydon, Slough. There are analysis that say around 10% of local authorities are in danger of becoming bankrupt. The NHS, um, for the first time ever, is making cuts. So where the NHS believes in left shift and they have strategies around left shift, they feel themselves increasingly pulled um, to right, right shift. Um, as is our 0 to 19 service, issues around um, safeguarding and harm. Our health visitors can't focus purely on prevention because they are involved in picking up the pieces when things go wrong. Um, the cuts to local authority in NHS is having impacts, huge impacts on the voluntary sector who are nimble and deliver so much, but are so they're the canary in the mine and they're so vulnerable to cuts. <clears throat> there are less opportunities to invest to save, further pressure to right shift to fill gaps where uh, posts and projects are uh, going and investment in promotion of health um, and prevention um, can no longer be prioritised um, by the local authority or the NHS. Um, it, to give a recent example, uh, yesterday I uh, received an email to say the Household Support Fund, which Leeds gets £14.2 million, won't be renewed from um, the next financial year. That is used to pay for um, food and fuel in emergencies. £14.2 million just gone. Uh, but it's not all bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's, it's quite bad, isn't it? But that's why it's so important to work together, really. There are opportunities. So we have got the Marmot team working in Leeds um, and what they've um, pointed out is we need to look at our outcomes, governance, information for families, co-production with families and look at school readiness where we've got terrible outcomes. Uh, Family Hubs is a national policy that is uh, Andrea Ledson's um, baby. It's a national policy agenda uh, and we need to do more in Leeds. We, we didn't get funding. It's 150 local authorities, 75 did. We were 76 on the list. Um, the 1000 Days project is such a... Uh, such an opportunity, uh, as is the Coral uh, Partnership, um, it, another research partnership. Um, we need to work together towards an integrated news led offer for families. We have committed, passionate, experienced staff with ideas and energy. And these are just a few um, examples of things that we could consider. Universal antenatal education, the, the, the centre parenting um, could help with that. Um, Asset-based community development embedded into 0 to 19 every day asking parents if, if what's being delivered is what's needed. Um, Public Health England, uh, God rest their soul, they're AXA now, UK Health um, the Security Agency, um, they uh, they recommend eight visits, not five, the five that are mandated. We, we, we can't deliver eight at the moment. We need to protect children's centres and libraries. 
the cuts in the local authority are real. Uh, there's a paper out today which sets out the cuts if you want to read something really depressing. Children's centres are at threat. They, they are something that we are so proud of. Um, they're from Shore Start. The Children's Directorate has protected them so far. Public Health um, puts money in, but they are under threat. We can't deliver stuff if we haven't got children's centres. So staff that enjoy building stuff and doing great stuff are currently trying to make the least words cuts and trying to create opportunities out of problems. That's where we're at, really. Um, but it, that's the reality. Um, we could do with more capacity to, to deliver the infant mental health service, um, focusing on not twos, now you're focusing on three to fives. The, the work you do is amazing. There's more that can be done. Uh, we need to reduce um, inequitable outcomes for ethnically diverse communities, including black, African, pregnant women and people who have terrible outcomes and compared to the general population. We would like more investment in areas where children live in poverty. Some areas invest in 22 visits rather than five. Uh, we need more support to uh, schools to help children who haven't reached the good level of development um, because of all the reasons um, that we've talked about. There are colleagues with um, radical ideas about inclusive growth, so a hand up, not a hand out, um, supporting people to develop businesses. Uh, welfare rights and maternity care, embedding welfare rights and not into not to 19. There is an economic health and um, wellbeing pathway, but that re requires referring on. If you could have something embedded, it could be more effective. And lots of other ideas will come from listening to families. So, um, I hope that's provided a whistle stop tour of inequality in Leeds, our best start planning delivery, and a taste of some of the challenges and opportunities. Um, I'm really committed to working with the University of Leeds to join up our best start agendas and build learning um, based that's gained from this pilot. Um, I'm really, really happy to be on the stakeholder involvement group and the steering group and hope to work with the University of Leeds um, in a way that's most sustainable and creates the most positive change for a best start of children in Leeds. Thank you.